Hi, this is Rochelle, and today we are going to be setting up for a live broadcast. So, what to do, what not to do. Hi, this is and Rochelle, and my welcome best to my tips. YouTube channel. So, stay tuned. Um, I'm a teacher we go. and a blogger, Let's get into and it. I post every Wednesday. The first place you're going to go is to the um, to your YouTube channel, to your avatar. Make sure that you are on your YouTube channel. I'm always keeping up with the trends, and, then and I'm always go giving away some secrets, your YouTube tips, YouTube and tricks studio beta to help you to uh, not only Click into create your, your first studio beta. WordPress site on the that app. will then open up. YouTube Studio Beta, you will then look for your other features and you will find it on the left hand side down about five. Just click into your other features. You will see playlist, live events, live stream now, status of the features that they are adding, the audio library and customized channel. So you want to go to your live events, click into that. Okay, first of all, what not to do. Set up a live event and then actually not go through the dashboard with the live event that you've set up and actually do a live stream in which then will create uh, two um, live streaming events and only one of them will be the one that goes on the internet. So in order not to be confusing, I'm not going into any of these three right here. These are ones that I did wrong, but I did redo them. Go to your new live event, add new. Okay, so now what I've done um, in order to prepare for this is I have already put some information out on something called, if I was to actually go into um, my channel again, and sometimes it's not that easy getting around in the uh, YouTube Studio Beta. But I'm just going back to my channel just to show you. There is a place, it's called Community. And if you are eligible and you've opened up your community, that means that you can then send messages to your community. And so in my community, and I'll just click into that, Two days ago, I sent out a couple of messages. One was that I was having a live stream on uh, Monday at 6 o'clock. That's Eastern Standard Time. And some other information that I put out there. And now, in order to uh, grow your channel, and in order to get the best organic reach that you can get, um, it is a good idea to use your community in the Hi. way that it's attended for, which is putting out information for your subscribers. Those are the people that are going to see this message. Unless other people just Hi, this go is to your channel, channel and, to my and YouTube channel. Um, um, I'm a teacher and community. a blogger, and I post every Wednesday. I'm always keeping up with the trends, okay. and I'm always uh, so giving away did, some secrets, this was tips, a couple and days tricks ago to help you to uh, not only create um, your first I also WordPress site had a on the poll internet, um, to be able I to maintain an online presence, which was so. Please like and subscribe, 
Once my and also leave me a comment down here. below because it's really important my poll to me was, what is your biggest that I'm able to go and, um, and look at your YouTube channel and the, like and subscribe the to help I you as well so we can both go together. And processing okay, videos, so Happy New Year and YouTube have a great beta, 2019. And I know that it Bye is for now. a challenge, especially when you're used to Creator Studio. Creating an optimized playlist connecting to social media. So, as you can see, not a, a lot of people really responded to this poll, but as my channel grows, I will have more people that will respond to the polls that I put out. So, if you're doing everything that you can do and putting out polls and also putting content out keep on doing it on a consistent basis okay so what I did was the information that I put out um, kind of was an up an, uh, an upcoming tutorials that I'm that I'm also making about affiliate marketing and how to become an affiliate because I know a lot of people are interested in how to become an affiliate and how to uh, make money at that and become successful. So I put some information up there. And also, do you want to know how to get your subscribers fast? And just to read more, uh, what the best strategy for meeting the YouTube requirement of a thousand subscriptions and four thousand watch hours is and how do you main, maintain the algorithm in which I'm going to answer that question tomorrow at six o'clock and also information about my live stream so this is the actual um, different things that I'm going to be talking about on, uh, on my live stream okay and I'm not going to read them all but you can read you can go through them and you can read them all but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this information and I've already copied it okay and I'm going to go over to where I am creating a new event now you could either do this a day before or two days before or three days before or a week before I just decided to just do it the day before and um, what I've learned from trial and error is it's actually better to give yourself some time before you do your live stream so that uh, you're not rushed and you're doing everything you're um, doing everything that you need to do in order to prepare for it okay so I'm just going to use this title here and I'm just going to check my title out that I'm using. In actually um, at YouTube. Because I want to see where my live stream is going to end up. So just going back into the YouTube. I want to get to the search engine. And I could have went to any of uh, the other tabs there, but I just decided to open a new one. And I'm just going to click in here. And I'm just going to paste my title in here. Okay. Um, how to get first 1,000 subscriptions, the uh, FAST method. And I'm just going to wait for that to come in before I click anything else. And of course, my introductory channel is going to start. Hi, talking. this is Rochelle, and welcome so to my YouTube just gonna channel. Um, I'm a teacher and a blogger, and I post every Wednesday. I'm always keeping up sure with the trends, and I'm always giving away some secrets, tips, and tricks to help you to uh, not only create your first 
WordPress okay, site. Because I, I have yet. my mic on. I can't um, really to be hear able it. To maintain. So I'm sorry about that. I apologize. I'm just going to shut this off. An, an online presence. Okay. Uh, now I'll be able to look in here. I'm going to see where do I want to end up. Do I want to end up here? Is this a good title for me? And am I going to be able to rank for it? Okay. I can see that the top one out here is how to get your first 1,000 YouTube subscribers, seven steps. And always people like these steps because then you know how long the video is going to be and you're not going to get bored listening to it. Uh, but basically, these this is very stiff competition right here. So I'm going to look in my title up here and see what I can do. Because, yes, I do want to be in with the competition, but I don't think that at this time I'm going to use that title. So I'm not going to use first. So And as you can see, this comes up here. So this looks like a title that I did before. So we're going to go here and see where this one ends up. Okay, so this is just taking out the word first. Okay, so this is actually one of my videos here, which I'm going to show you as soon as it comes up again. still processing the results. Wait until it's finished processing. Okay, so this is actually my video right here. And this was done two weeks ago, how to get 4,000 watch um, hours watch time and 1,000. Okay, so this is the title that I want to use because I want to end up in the same place that my other videos are ending up as well. So I'm going to click into this video right here. Now you can do this with any video. It doesn't have to be your own video. And um, from what I heard uh, from the guy from uh, vidIQ saying that keywords aren't really mattering that much, I still use them because they're, they're what I was working on and I'm now gonna change my title because I've determined now that this is not going to be the title that I want. So now I've changed my title. I'm going back into my video. Really nice and then it's going to be really cold. So for those of you who have taken the time to watch this tutorial, thank you. And I hope that I am helping you out on the do's and don'ts of uh, doing your live stream because um, I did learn the hard way about it on what to do and what not to do. Um, an another thing to do is to also um, share it on social media so you can have more of a reach with your organic traffic for people to see that you are going live and when you do go live um, don't worry if there's nobody that's 
in the room or that's there to ask you questions because it actually helps you when there is nobody there to ask you questions and especially if you put together an agenda for things that you want to talk about and what you are going to talk about is what you have said uh, that you have going on in your community posts that you put out so okay let me just take that out for a little bit um, I'm just gonna cut that away back in there uh, okay I'm just gonna move this down a little bit Okay, this is when you make a thumbnail, you know, you do have to take your time at it. It's not something that, you know, that you could just do really fast. You do have to think about it. Actually, going to take this out. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to take you to Canva. Let's go to Canva. Dot com. Okay. All right. Now, Canva dot com is a free service that you could go to. It does have uh, free stuff, but it also has paid um, uh, ones that you pay for as well. I use the uh, free ones mostly, and plus I upload my own pictures. Now, in order to upload your pictures, you have to make sure that you're not trying to upload a custom file. You have to make sure that it's a ping, P-I-N-G, uh, or is it P-I-N-G? Anyways. So, I'm going to go to one that I was working on before that I felt had a lot of potential. Okay, now, um, to get the thumbnail size, right, Here's the best way to do it. Just go to Google. Go into Google and just type in YouTube thumbnail size and it's going to give you your size. Okay, so, so start typing before. Okay, YouTube thumbnail size. Okay. All right. Twelve eighty by seven twenty. Okay, twelve eighty by seven twenty. So go back into your Canva. And you've already created an account and now you go to custom dimensions 1280 by 720 create new design okay so now this is going to pull up different templates that you can choose from You can just look through these on the side and then decide on what catches your eye. 
for a thumbnail. If it catches your eye and if it's something that gets you to click into it, it will be something that catches other people's eyes as well. See, I, I like something like this, but I like it a little bit darker. So I'm looking for something a little bit lighter and popping out more. So you just look through these templates and you decide on which one you want to use. See, if you click on there, you just go like that, then it automatically goes on here. Now, let's see the elements on here that you can take out. I think you can probably, can you take this picture out? Can this picture come out? No. Okay, so that wouldn't be something that I would be interested in. So, I like something like this. Or something like that. The yellow and black is one that really catches people's attention, but it's not really a deep, deep yellow. And I don't know if it really has the color that will give me that deep, deep, deep yellow. Let me see if I can find it. Sorry. Just click this here to see if. Uh, you can get your other colors. A color picker, and I want something that's like a very, very deep yellow. Okay, well that is a little bit better, but... And then you can actually go into for transparency and see, does it... Okay, that kind of... Although it does have that big black, you know, no, it's not something that I really want right now. It is a good color, but I want, I, I want something, and I think it's called Epic Event Adventure. And this one, I love this, this thumbnail, and you can do so much with it. Just need to find it. Where is it? Okay, I don't mean to be uh, taking up your time here, but what about something like this? I actually like this. So I am going to ch change this out. So it's come in right now and I'm just going to click that and does it come out? It should come out. This, the words you should be able to click into here and it should actually create a box that you can actually take away. No, that's all together in one, so no, that one is not good for me. I don't want something like that. How about this one? I'm 
really wouldn't sh be good. Okay, so let's try yellow. I want something with yellow. I'm sorry it's taking me time. Okay, so how about just this yellow and black? Let's try that. Okay, I am going to use this. I'm going to take this away. I'm going to keep the writing because I kind of like it. And I'm just going to say... your channel and the 90% in there not sure about I like it okay and then here I am going to upload um, a picture of me that I've already uploaded from before. Let's just say this picture right here. Gonna make that smaller. Oops. No. See, I'm, now I've made it too small. Just gonna put my picture in here. And let me see, what else have I got in here? Actually, I think I'm going to take this picture out. Sorry about that. And I'm going to make this. Oop. You could uh, play around in here and just see for yourself what's going to be the the best for you like what pictures what text your elements that are on the side i've done tutorials on this before so it, uh, it will be a little um easier and i should put the tutorials in the in the actual whoa I should put the tutorials in the in the, the um, description underneath as well, so that you could look for them. And I'm just going to put the four thousand watch hours, just so that I have it here, because that's what my title says, and I want to make sure that I'm using my words in my title because that's important and YouTube reads your thumbnails too the same as when you do your um, um, I forget what it's called but um, is where you um, write it at captions is where you do your captions okay so I'm just gonna Click that and and remember if you want to make something bigger pull it from the edge because that is the, the best way that you're going to be able to do it. Okay. 
Now, I, d I don't really like that picture, so I am going to take it out. Okay, and I'm going to look for um, I'm going to go into the elements and I'm going to look for eyes. I know this tutorial is taking a little longer and I'm really sorry. For some reason it's giving me egg. So I kind of like egg too. So let's put an egg in there. She looks like a spaceship. But it is really an egg. And then when you try to go fast, your computer does not allow you to do that. I'm trying to make it smaller. anything. Leave that and also put the eyes. Just going to take the eyes down a little bit. Now, if you do try to move fast, this is what's going to happen. So, um, don't do that. It's another one of them don't do. Okay, so you can't really do things really, really super fast. You just have to work with what you you can do. <laughs> okay. This is not working out. Anyways. I'm supposed to be showing you how to do it, and I'm me totally messing it up. Just gonna take that out and go back into the elements. And get the eyes again. Try to do it slower so that it it works out okay. Just want them a little bigger. Okay, well, you can fool around in here and uh, work out what you want to do. There's many things that you can do. Um, take this out. There. Just going to put this one in. The universe says no putting eggs on the picture. Okay, so put Wi-Fi instead. There we go. Oh, now I added a new page accidentally. It's definitely what I did not want to do. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And go into there. And also with this, you can um, also, if I click into it, I can also use this up here, the transparency, and I can take it down so that it sort of glows a little bit into my picture here. Okay, 4,000. Okay, and then on the top, let's just put... Uh, we're adding a little heading. So it's going to click in there, Let's just click into there, and it should show up in your picture. There we go. It's really small, so let's make it a little bigger.
Okay, and then how to. We need to make sure that we can see this. Okay, and then how to life. Two. Okay, so let's just move this now and we're done. And the torture is over. Just going to make this a little bit bigger. And of course, change the font. What is this font here? Let's have a look at this font. This font is RMO. All right. So this is this is RMO too, but it doesn't look like it. It's in italics. That's why. Okay, let's make it forty-two. Bigger. Bigger. Okay, forty-two. Forty-eight. Okay. Somehow I don't like that. Just hold on for one second while I just finish this off. Just going to go into and you could see the different fonts on the side that you can use. And of course, you're going to go at your own pace. So, what if I use this one? Okay, and now I'm going to. I really need this to be bigger. And unfortunately, this is underneath that. Okay, that's good. I'm going to use this for now. I'm going to download this, and I'm going to download it in P, like I was saying, a PNG. I call it a ping but it's called a PNG, see? PNG. You can also uh, download it in a JPG or a PDF if you are making a PDF, but for my purposes, it's a PNG because I want to be able to upload it again. Okay, so I've now downloaded it and it's now gonna go into um, where I am creating and of course, this will come up. Oh, what did it do? I wanted to just download it. Somehow it just did something on me. I just want to download it. Okay, so down. Oh, saying two pages. I don't want two pages, but now it's giving me two pages, which I'm I'm not really happy about. This is not what I want. Okay.
Okay, it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Just hold on one second while I download it again. And your design, what's going on? Okay, so now getting back into my live event, what I'm going to do is, oh, that's not where I was. What I'm now going to do is not work with this, create my thumbnail. other image, click browser to browse, not going to waste your time anymore. I am just going to click this one and open it. And hopefully you don't have this happen to you, especially when you make a tutorial. Click next. This is the way that um, it, it was supposed I was supposed to actually upload it from my computer, but my computer wasn't working with me. Okay? So this completes setting up for your live stream. And um, as soon as this is done, I'm just gonna close that. There's nothing else that you need to do other than if you have vidIQ, it will tell you these different things that you can do and you should do, like for instance, at least one card. If you then click, and make sure that my, my everything is saved here. I wanna make sure that my changes are saved. Just make sure I'm just gonna click in there for one second. Okay, so then you can go to at least one card if you have the vidIQ. Click into this arrow. And I believe this is going to take me into uh, YouTube Studio Beta. And then it's going to tell me that um, I should be adding a card. So what you can do is you can just follow all of the different arrows. And my computer is not working with me right now, so I don't want to take any more of your time. But getting back into here, follow all of this here. Add one card. Add at least an end screen. Close captions if you, that's what I was talking about earlier and apparently closed captions are really good because a lot of people listen to uh, video without the talking, without music. Share on Twitter. Share it on Facebook with at least one like and replied to a recent comment and this helps to rank this going up. So let's just save the changes and then if you click on uh, view on the watch page OK, 
Okay, so this is what your watch page is going to look for live in 23 hours. And then it has the thumbnail that I put up, which the universe picked out for me because uh, Canva wasn't working with me for the one that I was actually picking up. Okay, and so if people go there, they can then click this to set a reminder. I don't know, I, I've never tried it, but if I could, if you just click into there where it says set a reminder. Okay, so now this uh, this tutorial is done and I hope that it has been helpful to you. Um, I hope that I have been able to show you what not to do and what to do for your live stream, um, what's important and what's not. So please like and subscribe and um, if you haven't alre already, left me, leave me a comment so that I can get back to you and I can answer any questions during the, the live broadcast as well, which um, that will give me time to be able to prepare the answer. So looking forward to seeing everybody and have yourself a wonderful evening. This is a DIY affiliate saying goodbye for now. Remember that uh, knowledge is free and that we should freely share our knowledge to help each other to grow. Have yourself a wonderful evening.